of race seven. Jade McNaught being led up aboard Baranova. Goes in, she's chasing four straight. The favourite, though, has the inside alley. She's a charmer. There they go. They're racing in the Belmont Oaks. And Kardashian class out near the middle is the first of them to spring the stalls. Chili is hot. Got out well. Rebel Heart's up there. And she's a charmer's back inside of those. And she's racing pretty keenly there against Carberry. He just takes a second hold, trying to steady her down. Around the outside going forward now is Star Subject. It's making an early move. Wants to be up outside of the pacemaker. Sunset Cruise back there with with Baranova being followed by Piccola Senora, Vital Times, and settling down last is Try For Us. Approaching the 1400, over into the back they go, and the ex Victorian filly Kardashian class leads the way for Chloe as a party as they work into the back in the Belmont Oaks. And she led by two star subject. A further three, Chili is hot. The pace is right on. A length and a half away, Rebel Heart on the outside of the favourite. She's a charmer who settled much better for Carberry. A length and a half away then is Sun. Sunset Cruise and it has Baranova tucked up on its inside. Then came Piccola Senora. Vital Times is second from last and trailing the field is Try For Us. Going out past the 900 and in its WA debut it's Kardashian class the roughy that leads the way from Star Subject and they've gone the first half of the Oaks at a cracking tempo. Three lengths further back is Little Chili is hot and then came She's a Charmer pushing her way up on the inside she's going well. Rebel Heart went forward at the same time and put her back into a bit of a pocket there at the 600. Sunset Cruise behind them. McNaught can't get clear at the moment with Baranova when they start to bunch up. Then Piccola Senora. They're tightly packed. Try for us. Comes around the wide vital time. Shooting right up along the fence. Into the straight. Chili is hot. Hit the lead. Rebel Heart on the outside. The immediate threat. She's a charmer behind those. Followed further back. Try for us. Baranova got caught flat footed at the 250. Chili is hot. In front. She's a charmer. Digs in now. Carberry shows in the first Waiter, she responds, comes at Chili is hot, Chili is hot, she's a charmer, having a two horse war she's a charmer, Chili is hot they split the line, locked together Chili is hot, I thought might have won the Oaks a breath, she's a charmer, maybe Chili is hot in an absolute nail biter three lengths away then, Piccola Senora, try for us, close up Baranova, never really got clear, in behind them, Sunset Cruise Vital Times, followed further back in the field, Rebel Heart, who tied late, then star subject and Kardashian class wilted to finish a long last. Chili is hot. Jason Whiting wins his fourth Belmont Oaks. Number three, the Graham Ballantyne trained daughter of Gingerbread Man. Chili is hot. Has defied the favourite. She's a charmer. Pat Carberry. I'm pretty confident she'll get the verdict. She will indeed. On the inside, Chili is hot over She's a Charmer. And Try For Us will pick up the photo for third wide out. Baranova cluttered away back on the inside. She couldn't get off and get going when they packed up and uh, got caught behind them. Finished off the race well. But the birds had flown. Chili is hot. Posting her fourth win in 13 for Donna and Graham Ballantyne. What a great result this is. And Jason Whiting, well, he's now won the Belmont Oaks on three, four occasions, actually. He's won it four times now, Jason, in his career. And uh, the last time that he saluted was on Ros Martini for Simon Miller. He's done it on Miss Tipsy Topsy as well. And uh, guided home Empire Dancer for Michael Grant years ago. He's back aboard the winner here in 2021. Chili is hot, who lifted and found not a big filly, but she's all determination. She beats She's a Charmer, Pat Carberry. Try for us. Fourth goes the way of six. Piccola Senora and Rebel Heart, who faded after being there with them around the turn and uh, struggled in the late stages. So uh, a great result here for Graham and Donna Ballantyne. Jason Whiting winning the Belmont Oaks of 2021. The Aquanita Stakes 2000 for the Colts and Geldings. The next today is clear of any alterations. Let's go downstairs. It's been a really good race for the fish, Jay Whiting, and he's had to really lift this filly to hold off a determined favourite.
Oh, he has. What a wonderful finish it was to so close. Graham Ballantyne, congratulations. Chili is hot. The Belmont Oaks winner. Take us back to the very beginning when you got this filly. $500 as a weanling. How remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's at the, the sale that was on last week, you know, a couple of years ago. And, um, yeah, she was... We actually, I think we bought three or four and she was one of them. And, uh, yeah, she's $500. No one else better than us, so... Yeah, she's one of the oaks, you know, it's, uh, yeah, pr pretty good. Just goes to show what you can achieve in this game with just a, a, a very cheap purchase. Early in the piece, did you think that she had the capacity to get out over ground? Uh, I thought she did, yeah. Last prep, a few things went wrong for her and she went out for, you know, a bit of a break and that. I think she raced up over a mile and that, but things just didn't go to plan. So she went out, come back this time and she won over a mile and... This is the main race we had picked out for her, and yeah, it paid off, went well. What was in your mind today when the tempo was on and Jason Whiting was just able to get a beautiful run in the clear? Well, we spoke before, I just said, Jason, you, you know, you, you've ridden there more times than me, you do what, what happens when they come out the barriers, you know, because on paper there wasn't much um, pace in the race. So before we pulled it back to there last when there's been no pace, and then, as you know, you can't make up that much ground to win the race, you know. So I just left up to Jason, and I just thought, well, he knows what he's doing, so, and he did. Did you know you'd won it on the line? Uh, well, I was sitting next to Steve Miller and Jason Miller. They both shook my hand. I, they were more confident than me because I wasn't quite too sure. You never like to go the early crow, of course, but I think you can trust those blokes. Well done to you. Congratulations on the Belmont Oaks. That's right. Thanks, Rich. There's Graham Ballantyne. Wonderful story there with Chili is Hot. This gingerbread man filly, a $500 weanling purchase from the Magic Millions winter sale. And here she is, a Belmont Oaks winner at listed level. It's a... Uh, a wonderful game this. Chili is hot. Takes out the Belmont Oaks with the, up for the boys next in the Aquanita Stakes.